Okay. Now let me show you how the ESP32 cam works. Once you've got it all wired up, got an SD card inserted into it, um, and you've got your apps downloaded from the Mayhem page where you install the um, from the Mayhem uh, online web installer. There's some links there for the various apps. You're going to want to download those and make sure that they're for your operating system. Then, uh, first let me show you how Marauder looks. Oh, just crashed. That happens sometimes. No big deal. Okay. All right, let's do a scan. Yeah. Okay, let's try this again. I notice that sometimes if I pull my board like halfway out and stick it back in, it fixes the problems for whatever reason. It seems to be the only thing that ever gets me going. Yep, see? Now it's working fine. Strange. Probably need like a, I don't know, a resistor, capacitor. I don't know, sounds good. Anyways, there's a the Marauder working. And now let me show you the camera. To get the camera working, I just mash the pad here. Just make sure I don't hit the return button or it exits you out, so don't do that. There we go. Just mashed it. No, didn't do it. Hmm, doesn't look like it's going to work. Let's try it again. There we go. Yeah, you see, just mash it. And next thing you know, it's giving you the camera. Let's see, can I even get a, any kind of resolution out of this thing? Can I even tell what the heck I'm looking at? Tell that I'm looking at the dog. Anyways, the camera's not great. I mean, definitely could use some work. Like, there's my mirror. You can see that pretty good, but and these are like the different resolutions or whatever. All right, so, anyways, there's that. Now. The flasher, I have not been able to get that to work at all yet, so we're going to skip that one. Motion detection. I wait until it starts doing this, and then do my little magic trick where I half pull out my board. Stick it back in. Oh, I didn't quite do it. Okay. Let me try that again. There we go. See, it's working now. All right. And if you move anything in front of it, then it triggers it. And it's got like a threshold of 9,600. See? 
sets it off. And the nanny cam and the QR reader are just similar versions of this. Um, let me see if I can get the nanny cam to turn on for you real quick just so you can see. Board, stick it in. Nope, didn't pull it out far enough. Okay, boom, boom. Let's see. Maybe it just hadn't loaded far enough yet. I don't know what it is. Usually, once it's into these pound signs and I do it, it works. Let's see. Hmm. You waiting for a special invitation? Come on, there we go. And then it starts doing the training. And now there it is for the nanny cam. Move it in front of it. Haven't tried connecting to it wirelessly. Not sure how that works yet. Um, I don't have a QR code, so I'm not going to test that. But um, it's almost exactly like this. It just says that it's waiting for a QR code. And uh, yeah, that's it. I just wanted to show you guys how to get those apps working and the fact that they really do work. I was starting to question if those apps were even legit or not, but I was able to uh, get a hold of the gentleman that wrote up the um, uh, the tutorial for the uh, online flasher for the ESP32 cam version of the uh, Marauder. Uh, the mayhem mayhem flasher and um, he was nice enough to help me get this working um, and I just wanted to pass it along for anybody else that might be frustrated with uh, trying to get it to work hope this helped have a great day